Meanwhile, South Korea and China earlier this week released a joint statement promising to mend their own bilateral relations as soon as possible. And already a few changes can be seen in terms of cultural exchanges. To discuss follow-up measures on that agreement, South Korea's foreign minister could be making her way to Beijing as soon as this month. Oh Jung-hee reports. After South Korea decided to deploy the THAAD missile defense system in July 2016, China's retaliatory measures were most visible in the culture and entertainment sectors. Concerts and fan meetings were canceled, and Korean celebrities couldn't star in China's TV programs, nor could their video clips be distributed online. But as the two countries promised this week to rebuild their relations as soon as possible, changes are already being seen. On Tuesday, a K-pop group named Mamamoo was spotted arriving in China, and according to industry insiders, they have performed for a TV music program in Sichuan province. Mid- and small-sized online video platforms are getting ready to resume importing South Korean dramas. And a couple of Chinese broadcasters, including the state-run CCTV, have aired programs about the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics and the Torch Relay, which they never did during the over-one-year-long THAAD row. To keep up with this somewhat improved atmosphere, Seoul's foreign minister is expected to visit Beijing this month. If it happens, it'll be the first visit to China for Minister Kang kyung though she has already met her Chinese counterpart Wang Yi twice on the sidelines of international events. The two top diplomats are expected to discuss follow-up measures on mending bilateral relations, President Moon Jae-in's possible visit to China later this year, and ways to restrain North Korea's provocations and bring stability in the region. The visit could possibly take place in mid or late November after Kang's tour to three Southeast Asian nations from November 8th to 15th. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.